Apologies for the wait, sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had you another little baby. Congratulations, I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you juggle your kids, the bitches, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you're taking a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your. Mm -hmm. I'm not really after the bitch that I need. Can't look up looking like this. What's up? You crying. Do you hear your mind? I see a lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Barely been doing you wrong. All days you feeling like you on your own. I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was But never mind that, I'm back I'm sending you this little audio hug And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure They know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me, don't hesitate, please Just hit me It's like a French So I shouldn't see it brush, so now I can come to my camera and talk. My hair my no better than mine. What's up guys? It's Crazy K here and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Crazy K. As well as the beauty travel and you should subscribe to my channel. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyways, so today we're doing a little day in my life, you know. So y'all just saw my morning routine. Um the days of my life are pretty boring. I just cook and chill but today I'm gonna try and make it a little more fun so we're gonna go to the pool today and cook some food I think that's that's all <laughs> I probably I, I was going to go shopping but I I don't have anything like I went shopping yesterday but I did a vlog yesterday so yeah so we're gonna cook a little of food for breakfast and then I'm gonna chill a little and then go to the pool and then cook dinner and that's the vlog but that's literally a day in my life like that's what I do in the days I do the anything extra I don't even go to the pool from I come here so going to the pool is something new for me so yeah Oh, I'm gonna have my ear for the sound. You can't see me on inside my, my ear, too. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. It's not that in the. When you just get tuned, yeah? I'm hungry. But I can't, I can't cook in a dirty place. Like, I can't eat in a dirty place. So, place has to clean up before the girl can eat her food. Get me? My face look like it's a glitz, so I look like a glitz donut. When I said look up, when I said look up, look up, spot them on my face. I didn't usually have a skincare routine in people. But I realized that I have textured skin because I'm not like cleansing and treating my face properly. And apparently I have fine lines on my eyes. So may I try, <clears throat> may I try this old skincare thing. I try this now skin skin skincare era. So because the skin is clear in terms of like acne but i still have like these these little bumps so i want to get rid of those and i have dark circles so i want to get rid of that too people when you see this i don't know where these coming from you know it wasn't that bad 
you know what i think you know what i think you know what my diagnosis is i feel like it's because like when i go shopping i carry the heavy bags and them like bruise up my skin or something that's the only explanation i can give because man i don't know with my shoulder them more than so for my shoulder them burn up man i have i had man i have Mena mena have none of that so mena understand why I have these. So I'm very sure it's when I go shopping and I'm carrying these heavy bags on my shoulder. But shopping done ish. I'm done shop ish. I think I'm satisfied ish with <laughs> with my things ish. Anyways, let's let's get going. <laughs> Like strawberry expensive as Jamaica, so I'm gonna find myself my best strawberry. It's not that good. It's not that good for it to be that expensive. I hope with like I'm thinking with chocolate, it's probably gonna taste better. But yeah, it it it's not sweet. <laughs> no river, the wrong strawberry me get, but it's not sweet. It's it's sour. It's sour. And I also brought, bought blueberries. I don't like that. I probably just use it in shakes or something. But we'll see. Anyways, my mom talks to me. Wait, then I'm eat my food first. I'm hungry, bud. <laughs> like how it's been in america so far it's an up and down experience for me for me personally it's an up and down experience hold on like this summer i definitely got some perspective because i'm used to look i'm used to always want to make it like always want to live in america I'm glad like I spent the summer here by myself doing like some self-reflecting, self-healing for us. Anyways, yeah, now that I've been here, I don't know if I don't want to live here for many reasons. Like, America is different than Jamaica. It has some similarities, but it's different. It's a whole new country. Of course, it's going to be different, but... Alright, first things first. Um, I wanted to go to college over here, right? But my whole thing was just people are racist and I'm very black. Like my skin tone is very deep chocolate. Is it me? It's not very close to the white. As you can see, it's not close. Somebody always phrased that me that experience racism. Coming up here though, I've been up here for almost three months now and I haven't really experienced racism like that. So I experienced it three times, my cone, three times. The first time I got it, I, I didn't I didn't realize it was racism until I started thinking, I'm the only black person here, you only have a problem with me. Like I was the only black person in the room and the person only had a problem with me and I wasn't doing that person anything. So I was like, okay, you're racist. But just pull a racist card every time, every time somebody be mean to me because you have no other reason to be mean to me. 
anyways um our next thing where like i'm gonna like america nobody now don't get me wrong america don't buy but it cool it cool right now like the place just i like, get hot is august the place is just getting hot child anyways but yeah the cook me can't manage cool like i got used to it after a while though because like after my first video on the sea when i was cold i started wearing spaghetti strap and them something i'm never cold again at night time when me asleep i never sleep enough and on the ac them time they dust the ear i start sweating on my sleep and them things so i'm so okay my body's adjusting but at first i was cold i ain't gonna lie i've been to five states no four states so far and the state that i'm in right now i don't think like i'd live here if i was born in america but i'm not i was not born in america i was born in jamaica right now i'm not seeing caribbean people from my here, i don't see no caribbean people none zero nil i'm not seeing caribbean people from my home this state the only states i really see caribbean people like that is new york and florida those are the only two states i've really seen caribbean people but other than that i don't really see them i'm kind of I, I like i miss home i managa like i miss jamaica so much like m the food i really the food you know really and truly the food and the people honestly honestly so if if we could have bring that over here then me that probably good but other than that mm, i want to go home like right now i want to go home <laughs> I'm homesick. People, the next thing, the most of the time, I almost get licked down by care since I come a foreign. Because, you know, foreign drive on the right hand, opposite that Jamaica. Every time I cross over, up me and look. I down my fear look. I can't, I can't cross road. The food, like, prices and everything, though, it don't seem that bad to me. Clothes prices, like, when you go in the stores, them price, they're expensive. I'm not buying from a company. I'm not buying no clothes in no store for myself. No, mm -mm. she in there. She in. I'm a liar. She custom. I'm not. I'm not pay twenty dollar for a dress. I can't get for two dollar for a she. That make it make sense. And then grocery prices. Grocery prices aren't that bad to me. It's not much different from where I used to shop in Jamaica. Like if I convert them, they're not that bad. Um what else the food places the food places are very mid y'all are gonna see that in our vlog i think it's already posted if i can retrieve the things from my phone because my phone is not turning on i have to go go on phone man i get this fixed because i need this fixed you know i should have done that today so i don't think i will have enough time to do that but yeah the food is very mid the only food places i like so far are taco bell and chick-fil-a like those places eat eat um what else i do miss my family though like living alone for this period of time it really made me appreciate like the people that been in my life because they get a clearer perspective of of things when like they're not in their space so like my friend them will call and check up on me like i just grow a little, little extra love for them because i'm here i'm by myself and when I came here first, I was so afraid. Like, not even gonna lie. I was so afraid. When my dip on the flight by myself, when my land, when I have to sleep in the bed by myself, like, I've been, it, I mean, I think I tell nobody so I'm afraid more than so. But it's been scary, like, doing all of this by myself, like, going to all these states by myself, doing all this traveling by myself. What did I do it with me dog and it, it 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 gets lonely but you know eventually I started adjusting as I say like me can look great on my face yeah I've I've I start like eat back normal and I eat more now over here which is weird but yeah living alone is not that bad living in the US is not that bad you just have to get used to it and you have to put your mind to it and be like okay this is what i'm doing and just put in the way i for the dog 
like it's scary i'm not gonna say nobody say it's easy i'm not gonna say nobody say oh you should do it because not everybody is like me not everybody could do this alone not everybody like you know like just travel and figure out places and do all of these things that i'm doing not everybody can do it and i'm not trying to brag but it's the truth like some people genuinely afraid to do them something here by themselves like me i walk on the road every state where i go i walk on the road by myself discover new places go new places by myself and it's so weird it's so weird because Usually when my dad jump I'm afraid for the things by myself. I know Baby's just living her life period by herself But man go shopping man go beach man go amusement park all by myself and I think I think when you're young you should like try and experience places right if you're there jamming, if you're afraid to go for it, go to a new Paris for your boy. Like, just try it. I promise, just try it. Because you learn so much things about yourself. You do things where you never even know you could have do. Like, you're not going to see a true potential if you just cage up in a one place the whole of your life. Just do the same thing every day. You're not going to see a true potential. potential. You're not going to see, like what you're capable of doing like me never know someone could have go past someone's soul and they got all of them places here by myself wake up every day clean up place cook food like just be an adult <laughs> Whenever, like yes it gets lonely but honestly i think everybody should try this like if you're young go to a new state go to a new city just explain experience live yeah anyways i think that's enough talking um but living in fun has its ups and downs but you know i'm just grateful for the good days over the bad now right now the temperature is the same as kingston and I love this temperature. Like every back then I think so. Oh my heart, my heart, my heart. But then if I can't have AC right, I said one. How is that? But I'm gonna go outside at the time just taking the sun. I'm gonna leave. I'm done time. I'm gonna finish eating my food and then soon in that next clip. Alright, so I want to do a quick look at install on my hair, like a wig that I have to review. So I'm gonna do that, but before I do that, I'm going to start getting like dinner ready. So today I'm gonna be cooking curry chicken and shrimp with white rice. What? I don't know where to go yet, but I know I say me I feel for curry chicken, but I also have shrimp for more and cook. So we're gonna mix them together and <laughs> for that, hold on. I decided on only shrimp. Okay, boom, the wig. Quick story time. I don't know I said that wig yeah. I get scammed. I got scammed people. So I reached out to the comp a company on Amazon, right? They sent me this link to order the hair. Order the hair, them said they must save me about my money. Please tell me why. Days are passed, I get the wig. The wig there for review. And I don't get by my money on her. People might be like, we'll send soon, we'll send soon. Every day, we'll send soon. So, the, I'm confused. Like, what's going on? Soon can't reach her now. So, 
when when I got the order on Amazon like the company did a text me about important message important important please respond to this please send your number so I said hmm when you can't scam me but idiot you idiot it's directly from Amazon or them feel scam you directly from Amazon why am I never did that thing to the people that buy Instagram and scam me uh, I don't know who. Anyways, when did I ignore the message? The man said, but say, you know what? When I get my money, so I'm going to the people them for true. So I give them my Instagram, because I'm give them my number. I don't know. That just, I feel like they can scam me if they must scam me easier with my phone number and my personal information. <laughs> so I gave them my Instagram name, man. When did they talk, man? People them make me know, say, the company I did not text my Instagram is a fake company. It's a fake company. Yeah, you heard me. And I'm going to use with you. Let me use it. Yeah, it's a fake company. I text my Instagram. They use my screenshots of my order number. That's why when you get free week on Amazon, from the Instagram story, I don't have to be careful. The people then because these people seem so legit like i sent them my order number and everything you see me so it did it did look so sus to me like oh i send you my order number all of them things here because usually i know it's a scam wait there i'm going to look at my mustache i'm going to write that so i'm going to show you that off quick i don't like you Yeah, I used to know that it's a scam when like them are telling me for order directly through them. I don't need to order on Amazon. I know that's a scam. But for me to be ordering a week directly from Amazon, I don't think that's a scam. Anyways, now the company, the week company, that like the actual people, they were telling me that those people took my order number and sent to them so that them could like. All right, the fake Amazon page took my order number and sent to the real Amazon page so that the fake Amazon page could get the money instead of me. So they got the money for my order. It's simple as that. Using all of my information and my screenshot that I sent them. Then when I got the wig now, they were asking for send pictures of, of the package. So I sent a picture of this and i just took the wig out of the wig cap this is the wig fresh out of the out of the, the little that little something here i took the wig out of that and i just sent it to them people you don't know say the people then post it on them instagram page the people then post the picture that i sent them off the wig on their instagram page and i'm like have you ever seen any other wig company do that like that does not look legitimate that look like that look so that not look legitimate so I don't I know if people would have seen that and believe them. You would have them did stick to the picture of them where they did have before. But that don't look legitimate. Oh, I need to put foundation on this. Hold on. So yeah, as I say, people them fully I use my picture for scam other people. And it's just like, bro, are you serious? Like, be, be so for real. Please be so for real. It's, it's ridiculous. Because they seem so legit and I always like and and not even them reach out to me where me that say it did so so me reach out to them and there are other companies that reach out to me and me no say them a scammer because they might be like um they might be like oh um you don't have to order on Amazon just order through us like girl it's fake don't order through nobody except Amazon. If you're not ordering it from Amazon, don't order the week. Don't send nobody the money. Don't send nobody no. I'm not desperate for week. It will come. Your time will come. No, don't jump the gun. Cause you'll get you'll get knock. But yeah, I'm just that I'm a little scammy in story time. Oh, but another story. Let me let me end off the story. Another story. Um, I got my own money from the company. And I'm actually working with them now. As you can see, I'm in the week. So I'm working with them now. So it still worked out, I guess. But baby, what if 
Like, suppose me never look at that time. Like, mm, look on the nap them. Them not there look nice. But yeah, suppose me never look at that time. Suppose the company never suspects that they were, like, somebody was impersonating them. Then what would have happened? It's a scary world, man. You have to just have your head on your body. I feel like my head too big for that again. See, so you them a tear. A tear something already. Something tear. Something is torn. So guys, it wouldn't be a day in my life if I didn't get some packages. So yeah, my way is it. I'm a lot of stuff I'm seeing. But I'm showing you that though. I, I'm gonna film my video right now, right, right now with me trying on these things that I just got from Shein. Hmm. But I can show no this. This is going to be in another video as well. But I got some stuff from Native. <gasps> Native. <laughs> right. 
yeah so i am easily influenced let's just say that i'm very easily influenced so um i was watching a video one time a hygiene video with sky jackson and she posted about this right it's so pretty she, yeah but she posted about it and uh, it's like it the scent is called tie-dye vanilla cupcake and i love gourmand scents i am obsessed with gourmand scents anything that smells like eatable like mm -mm -mm, scrumbly yum yum burp, burp. i want to smell like that i want to smell like a cookie i want to you see me yeah anyways so i got this and it smells so but this is for our next video. Like these are for our next video. I'm not going to smell it until the oil smell or not. Just watch the video. I'm gonna post a hygiene video. I'm not even know if that video they can go down because hygiene things so expensive. Jesus please much traumatized. Anyways <laughs> and I also got this for my mommy. It's coconut and vanilla and she loves coconut things. So and I smell it and yeah that's all i'm gonna say yeah that's all i'm gonna say but i bought these two things and a lot of stuff from shein so may i go try them on right now do like i'll coach for y'all if you want for y'all then i give me nothing else i'm gonna give me like a little gift bar or something cheap stuff but yeah time jump, jump scare. scare i'm going to pull up my hair this is what we're wearing to the pool this top and then i have my bikini on the right yeah i'm really excited and really excited should i pull up my hair or should i leave it i'm going to pull it out in the pool room it is night so the place is dark so we can just rest in here so i may as well in here thank god <laughs> So we're going to do a little swim swim. I'm so excited. I've never been in the pool. I feel like the water can cool. Wait, let me feel it. Feel it. Oh, it's warm. It's warm. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, my story full be people come and i'll be a little bit me i want to know why i look a bit in at pool study it's like parents what are you doing but it was fun i had a little fun i entered some snaps i'm cool now jesus is easy and i'm cool i got beard i wash my head i make it right now today was fun i'm cool <laughs> but yeah 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and if you did just leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel because that's what you do over here you're doing the right thing and the right thing is liking and commenting right right okay anyways bye guys